Hi guys, it's Nate and today we're going to be doing a warm up conditioning stretch and a cool down video for you all whilst we're not at cheer in this period of time. So first of all I want you to put on a cheer mix in the background and for the first count of eight of the cheer mix I want you to just run on the spot for a count of eight and then for the second count of eight you're going to do some mountain climbers so it's like you're going to a deep lunge and then switch legs and then like that. So just copy me. Done. So now you should be nice and warm and you can go and grab a drink if needed. So now we're going to get on with the shouting. Okay, so right, to start off with, I want you to start with your legs far apart and reach up as tall as you can. I'm reaching down. And so we're going to do front, middle, behind five times. So you need to touch the front, touch the middle and touch the back five times. Okay, right, now what you need to do is reach up as tall as you can again, legs together and reaching down and try and hold this for about 5-10 to seconds trying to get your hands flat down and touch the foot ok right now I want you to sit on the floor with your legs as far, far as apart as they can go and reach you up to the sky and then you're going to try reach down trying to get your belly buttons to touch the floor you should hold this for around 5-10 seconds again good and then reach up and reaching over to one leg, pointing your toes, trying to get your nose to touch your knee. And then reach up again. And same with the other leg, trying to get your that nose to touch your knee. Okay, good. And then legs into the middle, reaching up. Have your toes pointed away from you and try to reach down as far as you can. Legs into butterfly, and we're going to try and get our knees to the ground as far as we can by pushing down with our elbows. Okay, so now I want you to put one leg across the other and do ankle in circles, making sure they're going in both directions. And then you want to put it up to the sky as tall as and as much as you can. You should hold this for about 10 seconds. Make sure you're pulling it up. And then do the same with the other leg, making sure your ankles don't go in both directions. Okay, 
and turn it up to the sky. Good. Okay, so now I want you to lean forward like this and try and put your armpits to touch the floor so it's really stretching out your shoulders. And then you're going to pull it through, keeping your legs together behind you, really squeezing everything and trying to look for whatever's behind you. Okay, so now we're going to do our bridge. So I want everyone to lie down and flat on our back as straight as we can, making sure we're squeezing everything, making everything as tall as we can. And then we're going to bend our arms and bend our legs and try and do the neatest bridge we can, trying to get our feet together and our legs together. Ready, three, two, one, pushing up. Okay, so after the bridge is standing up, having our hips in circles, making sure they're really big movement. And then switch direction. And then we're going to do arms in circles, going forward. And then going backwards. Okay, so now we're moving on to conditioning and we're going to start off with 15 star jumps. Look at me, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so right now we're going to be on to burpees. You're going to do five of these. So to do a burpee, you jump up and then jump down, press up into a press up position, jump back in and up again. So we do five of those. Ready? Guys, you want to grab a partner, so I've changed my mum. <laughs> and so you want to lie down on the floor, grabbing that ankle, and we're gonna you're gonna give them your legs and they're gonna push down and we're gonna do this seven times. up and down so this is where you start in a plank position making sure your bum's nice and low down and then you're going to push up push down like that and you do this 10 times So now we're going to do some swimming kicks. This is where you lay again in the holy position and just kick up. We're going to do this 20 times. Okay, so now we're going to do something called ant walk. So you get down like this. So you, first of all, you want to find like a big surface. Like you can do it in your living room, you can do it on like in your garden, wherever you want. So you want to get into a position like this and you want to just walk with your hands and your feet moving in a backwards motion. And then you're going to turn around and you're going to do it back. Okay, so now I'm going to do some sit ups. So I'm getting my mum to hold my feet down so I don't pull them up. I'm going to do 10 of these. So you want to sit down and sit up. Okay, so now we're going to do something called crab walk, so where you're in this position and you move like this. Okay, so when you're doing this, try not to move the elbows from your knees and you can choose however long you do it for. But I'm just going to do it here just so you know how to do it. Okay, 
Okay, so that's it for conditioning, and now we're going to do a simple cool down. Okay, so I want you to reach up again and reach down to the middle. Really try and make sure you're really stretching for this bit because it will help you get more flexible. And reach over to one leg. And the other leg. And would you reach up? And reaching down to the floor. Turn your hands back down. To Good, and do hips and circles. And the other way. And arms and circles. Really reaching up and over. And going backwards. And then we'll do shaking and feel. And we are done. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you all soon. Bye!